Are you ready? Time for four. Exercise number one. We're going to start. First, I will show you what the exercise is like, so you have an idea of what we are going to learn in this exercise. In class we learned to use the traditional grip and if you have still more questions don't forget that there are slow explanations on dominictalksprocussion.com about the three marimba grips. We feel the, the weight in our feet, we are quite straight with our body but not like a tree, not like this, we're not like a wooden plank, we are just like a bit dancing so we can dance a bit behind the marimba. Then you, you lift your arms, bloop, you put them on the instrument, and then maybe it's actually already a fifth. A fifth, so five bars, so we can count from the C, one, two, three, four, five bars, and that's the interval we are going to use in this exercise. So you can find this note, and from that note you count five bars to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you put the inside mallet on the C, and then the outside mallet on the G. We first start with the right hand. We just have a loose grip and we lift the, the sticks from the wrist. So we move like this, not like this. We always move vertically from the wrist. So you just bounce. You just bounce the sticks. Like a, like a bouncing ball, basically. And on the moment, the mallets, because if you drop them, you will see that the mallets will stay on the bar. And we want to also play a next note. So what we do is we lift them again. And basically, what marimba are playing, you can imagine that you hit the bar, puff, and you immediately go back up. But you don't, you can just drop the mallets and then up. So drop and up, drop and up, drop and up, drop and up, drop and up. You know, imagine you have like a ball, and you drop the ball, and you all the time like making sure that the ball keeps on moving. Wing. That's a bit the idea. And we don't move from the arms. Don't use the arms. Just the wrist. If you sometimes have a wrong note, that's not a problem. I, I think it's important you don't squeeze the sticks. So just loose. So we have C and G. And this is going very well. And then we are slowly, we want to move to the other hand. So we take the sticks, and maybe in the, in, the bit, in the beginning it's a bit uncomfortable still, that's fine. And we put them on the bars. So you put the left hand on the bars, you stop the right hand. You can still hold the sticks, you can put them next to your hand, so however you feel comfortable. Then we look again to the C, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. That's the notes. And then we lift from the wrist. Boing. the wrist and try once to let the sticks very loose in your hands as if you're almost not holding them anymore and you play all the wrong notes it's fine you just just drop them and you move this from the wrist but that feeling is important to not squeeze so now we once we're gonna squeeze the sticks a lot so you very tight so that your your fingers hurt like ow and you try to play and you see ah sounds really 
yeah, doesn't sound nice and it's a bit, you know, does it hurts my hand. So that's what we want. So we let it loose, loose, loose until we play the wrong notes again. And then we go back to a bit more control and C and G. So listen, always listen. We listen to the notes. So these are the notes we need to have. And then we keep this going. We put our right hand there, look to the notes, same notes. And we start to just do all the four melodies together. And we up and, and up and down. Up, drop, drop up, drop and lift, drop and lift, drop and lift, drop and lift, drop and lift. Very good. And maybe you can also see where on the bar you're playing. You're playing in the middle of the bar. You don't need to play on the edge. So in the middle, all the melodies are in the middle of the bar. Sometimes one is a bit off. Well, that's fine. And now we want to move to the next note. How do we do that? How do we move to the next note? We could basically just shift a bit our weight to the right. And then we already... So we just lean a bit to the right on our right foot. So that's why we don't stand with two feet together like a tree. We stand like we jump. And that's the position how we stand. We play. And then we start to move our weight a little bit. You see I'm already going and oh, there's the next note. Very good. And we shift back. And we move to the right. And maybe once move very far. Oh, too far. And we go back. So you feel that this is a way how you can move to the notes. And you can also do what we did in the preparation class, this movement. So this is actually how you, you see that the wrists are doing nothing and just move like this. And we go back to the CG. And then we move to the next bar. And maybe close your eyes. And back to CG. To the D. And back to C. Close your eyes. Just listen to the notes. Next one. And now we go to the right again. E. Right. A bit more to the right. Very good. And now we go back. And keep on bouncing. So that's actually how we find the notes. Now, check on this moment. If you're not standing like this, if you're standing like this, go back up and make sure you have a straight posture. Don't need to tense, but just stand straight. Once more, we make this movement. We jump, stand straight, make this movement. Find the right notes. C, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and C and G. One, two, three, and one, two. Move. 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 Look back and F. one I had a wrong note and actually that's fine I I think it's important that you don't focus too much on the right notes it's okay to sometimes play a wrong note and you know if you play like this ah, it's also nice it doesn't always need to be exactly what's written in the music listen listen to the sound make sure you play from the wrist and that is the most important lesson for today in the exercise, you can read expressivo, so it means expressive. The tempo is, quarter note is 82, so 82 per quarter note. You can download a metronome on your phone, for example, or maybe you have a very professional one. And then this is the tempo. 
Dang, dang, ding, ding. We see it's forte. Um, so just a nice dynamic. Doesn't need to be loud, doesn't need to be soft, just a normal dynamic. And we see a, a slur, so it's legato. So beam, 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 beam. Beam, 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 and a round movement. So we check the tempo once to know the last tempo. One, two, three, and maybe we walk once the tempo so we kind of feel what the tempo is like. And then to think, we once do it last time in tempo. Actually, we can do it in tempo with me together. There we go. One, two, three, four. enjoyed this lesson you can keep on playing and practicing this little exercise and in the next exercise we are going to learn how to play sop like a little mouse in a bit different tempo again and different kind of music thank you for learning the first exercise of the time for four book i hope you enjoyed it and see you in video two